Rebecca? That is a question for the ages. Who is Rebecca? I'm Rebecca Starborn. I'm 28 years old, and I'm a parkour and gymnastics instructor here at Urban Evolution. She is a incredibly talented and hardworking individual who... I just keep thinking of the story of Rebecca. <laughs> At least the story of Rebecca in the gym from my viewpoint. Which is, I remember when she came in and she was actually kind of cocky. And I remember uh, in white band class being like, Rebecca, you're not ready to do that. You know, you're doing jumps from like large obstacles and landing kind of imperfectly, shall we say. And I'm like, you know, you have to tone it down. And she's like, I'm ready for pretty much anything you throw at me. That was her attitude. And um, I remember her also saying something like words to the effect of, you'd be surprised at how quickly I learned this stuff. You'll be surprised. And she's right in that regard. I mean, I think that was maybe a year ago. I showed up and I kind of powered through their white band curriculum within my first three months. I'd made it to green band level. And um, I asked about their assistant instructor program and they pretty much enrolled me in it on the spot. When I was in middle school, uh, I was into aggressive inline skating, skateboarding, uh, and soap shoes, if you know anybody in the world still remembers those. I started doing rollerblade tricks without my rollerblades, running off of slides or curves or jumping over stairs and doing method grab 360s and fly fishes. Uh, and my friends and I called it freestyle walking. Um, a few years later, we saw the Yamakasi brothers on TV, and they were practicing a sport called parkour. And uh, we were like, hey, that's, uh, that's what we do. So let's say 14 or 1500 who are parkour members primarily. Um, of those, we have had about 200 or so make it to their green wristband. Of those, we've had about 20, I believe, make it to their red wristband. So if that gives you an idea of the uh, level of difficulty to make it from one level to the next. And so she is the first female to earn her red wristband, although I think it's high time. <laughs> I think we're a little overdue for that. I'm super proud of her um, because she trained her butt off. It actually took her a couple of attempts. Uh, she was really close on her first attempt and there was a lot of discussion after her first attempt. But her second attempt, she blew it out of the water. And I, everyone, not just me, the whole staff was very proud of her. Yeah, rails became my absolute favorite thing to play on. Once I started doing gymnastics, rails got a lot more fun. Um, I learned how to do a lot more with less power uh, versus some of the, the bigger moves in parkour. I do competitive obstacle course racing, um, Spartan, Savage, Tough Mudder, potentially more in the future. Um, I do a lot of running outside the gym to kind of build my endurance, uh, but pretty much all of my strength training and parkour stuff is done here, unless I'm out somewhere and I see a particularly tempting run. Uh, always fun getting chased by security. I know that in the weekend that she tested for her red band, she did Spartan, did the Spartan race, and did like the, was it the 10 miler also? like the. And so all in one weekend, which I think might be a little ridiculous, but also pretty awesome. <laughs> I think she's awesome. I tell you, uh, we were just doing the, uh, the rollovers off of the uh, off the high platform, and I wasn't real I wasn't real ready to do it. And, and she said, you know what? It's never going to feel natural. And that was that was enough encouragement to to get over it. So I did the circle over on the bar first, and then she she encouraged me on the circle over for the uh, from the high platform. It was it was awesome. They're probably some of my favorite classes. She, for someone who's fairly new, really scales things back, helps me go step by step when a lot of the other students have been coming for quite a while. So uh, she definitely has a great teaching style for beginners coming in. Overall, the demographic is still largely young male. Um, we're doing our part, of course, to, to change that and shift it. But it's like, you know, it's pushing against a mountain. And uh, one of the things about this is that you kind of have to be receptive to the change. So it's not just us trying to push. We need to see women who are willing to try. And uh, a lot of people come in here and they're like, this is not something I could ever do. And we work on that, you know. But them getting their foot in the gym is the first step. We take it from there. 
I just want to see more people step in the gym and say, what is this place? I want to find out about it. And after that, we'll show them what they can do. And then in about a year, they'll show us what they can do. And it's, that to me is the best thing in the world. When I started here at the gym, I was overweight. I was out of shape. I was clumsy. I'm still clumsy, but um, I now work out. Uh, I'm here at the gym at least three days a week sometimes more. Uh, I try and run at least five days a week. I've lost 30 pounds. So if you don't think you can do it, you can, no matter what excuse you're giving yourself. So really, I urge you just to get off the couch and start. Um, I think once you do it, you won't look back and you definitely won't miss your old self.